what's up YouTube welcome to Bible wisdom um, this is gonna be another short video um, you know I wanted to share why I don't hit, listen to hip-hop music anymore now I can't help the moments where it's on in public or I'm at a um, you know some restaurant or something where they're playing music but why I don't um, choose to listen to hip-hop music you know rap music or just any other music and it's uh, because not just any music but um, it's because I've noticed how vulgar or bad or wicked or evil how much how evil the things that are being said in those songs are you know when I was growing up I noticed a little bit you know I noticed that the songs were evil but I didn't fully have a um, a reason to say no or you know a proclivity to not listen and so a lot of those songs they're either degrading women they are um you know talking about you know murder or you know adultery or fornication or uh you know getting rich they talk about getting money you know getting rich and so the crazy part about that music or it's just proud it's just having a very proud way about you know um talking about yourself like you're all that you're you're the top person like you know just talking yourself up and as i read more scripture and le come to know more about the bible you know god doesn't want us to listen to that music you know um and i would really just uh you know question the all the types of music that you listen to you know um you know we the one thing that we need to be aware of and don't want to do is be friends with the world now excuse me i'm not necessarily saying all secular music is bad you know i mean technically sort of it could be but you know, sometimes I listen to a jazz CD or a jazz uh, a song, you know, an instrumental, um, and that's technically secular, you know. But um, just wanting, I wanted to make this video so that you are more aware about what you're entering, what's entering into your brain and into your heart, you know, because you know how the Bible says that everything we do flows from our heart and so if you're listening to music that's prideful you're going to be prideful you know you're going to be proud you know if you're listening to music that is um you know talking about sex before marriage you know getting with any woman you can get and talking about how you're going to do that and what you're going to do you know that's what you're going to do that's what is going to be in your heart and so also let me shift over to how do we clean ourselves from that you know I think one of the things we can do is go to the Lord you know and ask him to help us and then also you know there's a great thing that Jesus said do in the Bible and it said to be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for you I highly recommend looking up that scripture that's an awesome scripture um, but anyway, you know, just check what type of music you're listening to, you know, what type of movies you're watching. I try to, I sometimes do, I admit, watch some bad movies and I'm working on shifting, you know, like sometimes the movies that I'm watching are kind of violent a little bit. And so it's like Marvel movies or, you know, action movies. So anyway you know we need to be able to watch 
you know, I watch Christian movies too, though, too. Um, but I do like action movies, but I'm just saying, you know, think about, you know, what type of movies you're watching, what type of television you're watching, you know, what type of, uh, music you're listening to, because it really does affect you. Um, and it really does affect, you know, we're, we're headed to heaven, you know, it's a reality, it's real, you know, God has so many good things for us. He's going to take away our pain, our sorrow. You know, he's going to, um, you know, give us a, so much of a better life. And this is just the beginning. So, um, all right. I hope you got something from this video. You can check out my website, WASHYE.com, for um, more uh, just advice, Bible, Bible topics. Um, Bible subjects. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.